Hey there everyone, this is Samuel Johnson, and welcome back to the Ben 10 Retrospectives, and today we're going to be looking at episode 35 of the original Ben 10 series, Under Wraps, and in this episode, the Tennysons go to work on a farm, and the reason for this is because Ben and Gwen have been neglecting their chores, and Max is getting sick of it, he ever, and every... And he tries to get them to do everything, but every time they, are, but every time he gets on their cases about it, that he says they say it's some vacation they shouldn't have to work. But at the time, but as the, but conveniently at the time that he's chewing them out, that Gwen was listening to a radio, a little hand ra hand radio, and there's an ad there for a farm, for a, for a farm camp where you can spend a whole week working on an actual farm. So Max decides to go to the farm. He ends up working. He ends up going onto a farm. They end up going onto a farm where a woman named Joan and her son Todd work, and of course, and of course, Ben and Gwen are, are given some difficult chores, such as moving feed bags from a truck into a barn. And Ben, and of course, and of course, Ben wants to go wheeling to try and make things easier, but Max pretty much tell, but Max pretty much tells him to do it and die. Well, not figuratively, but it's pretty. But you can kind of get the idea. He's telling Ben, he's pretty much telling Ben, don't ever do, don't transform. You have to do that, which. I can understand. I really do understand. But while there, but while there, Ben and Gwen, but while, but then that, but that night, once they're done with their chores, they have dinner with them, and on the way back to their, on the when Ben, when Ben and Gwen are actually being shown where they're gonna sleep by Joan's son Todd. Todd, Todd, Ben and Todd mentions that once Ben and Gwen are wondering what's going, what's there to do around here, and Todd talks about that recently. He saw something that's very, very strange, and that something is. A mummy that he apparently saw while trying to tip a cow, which they do show in the beginning of the beginning of the episode. So Ben and Gwen are Ben and Gwen are curious, and they know they find out where he, they find out where the mummy was because Todd told him. So that night when they were supposed to go to bed, they sneak out and go mummy hunting, and they find where it was. They find an empty crater, but while they're there, they also find mutant cow. It's just these purple things. They look like mon they look monstrous. They attack. Attack Ben and Gwen. Ben goes alien and manages to corral them, but he's wondering what caused them to go like that. And well, from the crater there was a, a, these glowing footsteps. So Ben races after them, and he finds the mummy, and it is disturbing. It is actually pretty weird looking. It's got purple. It's purple. It's glowing, and it is just. It has. It just has. It moves strange. It just kind of. It really. It, it, it's just kind of, it looks like it's just jittering and all over the place. Like, it's not stable. And at, and for good reason, because this mummy is no flesh. It is nothing but the bandages. Like, Ben at one point starts, like, during the battle, Ben rushes into a shed and throws these several knives at it. It literally sh shreds, sheds its body apart and the knives just fly right through it. In fact, there's even at one point in the episode, it's completely shredded in a fan, and yet it completely comes back together because that's what it is. It's completely made of these bandages, so... Ben fights it, but you know, Ben fights it, but it manages to get away. So they don't know. So at first they don't know what's going on, but they don't really have the time to do it. They go back to the barn, and the well, they and the next and having not gotten a wink of sleep last night, they're woken up at early in the morning to do chores. So at this point, Ben decides, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna go alien and. That's pretty much what he does, because he's given us several chores by Todd. He's given several chores. He and Gwen are given several chores: milking cows, feeding feeding the pigs, collecting eggs, try harvesting a field. I think, yeah, I think it was harvesting a field. I think it was harvesting a field, and even just setting up a and even setting up a fence. And pretty much for each one, Todd shows how you normally would do it on a farm, while Ben just decides to go alien and breeze through it all. So, but that night, but that night, that night, Ben and Gwen start questioning Todd again more about what there is, and he met, he talks again about the mummy and how it was just kind of weird how something like that would appear, how a mummy would appear in a flash of purple lightning, and that triggers something in Ben and Gwen, because they're, because I think I might have mentioned this in Ben Wolf, in the Ben Wolf episode, but it's because the werewolf in there also appeared in a flash of purple lightning. And so they realize that can't be a coincidence. So they go to Max and tell So they actually go to Max and tell him about what they did the night before. And it turns. And so Max gets his plumber gear, scans for the cows. Cause apparently they're still there. They're still tied up. No one looked for them because they're on someone's farm. Surely he would have noticed that a couple of his cows were missing and probably have looked for them and found these mutants. And 
I don't know. They don't. I don't know why. They're still there. But Max scans them and says that apparently they've been exposed to an element called corodium, which is meant to be an which is an alien element that normally isn't found on Earth, but might have come to Earth via an asteroid. But apparently this moment, but apparently when it's exposed to organic beings, it can it causes them to mutate and old. It causes them to mutate, like with what happened to the cows. So Max says that if this mummy is looking for corodium, it may be out and gets enough, it may be able to mutate every living thing on the planet. So. The Tennysons go out looking for the mummy and using Max's scanner looking for any more trace amounts of corrodium. And apparently there's this huge chunk at a local ice cream factory. So they go in, Ben, Ben, and then when they find out where the corrodium is, Ben stupidly goes alien and digs it up. And coincident, and of course there enters the mummy just, and I, it, it's a very, and it's a very, not, very, in a very creepy entrance as the lights are flashing, it just appears randomly, it vanishes, this as the lights go out, it just moves to a different area. It's like the Weeping Angels or some or something at Five Nights at Freddy's, where it just once the lights go out, you don't and you don't see it. It moves and it, it, it is really nice. It is very it is very n disturbing. So Max, to protect Ben himself and Gwen from the corrodium, gives them these special hazmat suits that are apparently they're apparently plumber tech, which all you have to do is just slap on the chest plate and it covers you up. And, but he doesn't give one to Ben because because of the um, the tricks and his already altered DNA, so he should already be safe. But a security guard is exposed. He turns into some weird mutant creep, this weird mutant thing, whatever, and he attacks the Tennysons. Ben fights the mummy. Gwen and Ben are able to take out the security guard, but the on the tricks times out while Ben is fighting the mummy, so he runs away. They give him a hazmat suit, and that's at that point. But thanks to Gwen and and throwing ice cream on the floor, they're able to subdue the mummy. But it comes back out, grabs Ben, rips his suit, tries to expose him to the corrodium, but in the process, it wraps one of its bandages around the Omnitrix, which is the recharging, and suddenly the Omnitrix glows yellow because this thing's an alien, and it just starts cycling through the aliens. We're finally settling on a, 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 a settling on a symbol for the mummy, except for the mummy. So Ben realize, so Ben decides he's gonna go alien, fight this thing, mummy, mummy, and he turns into upgrade. Yeah, I. Personally, I don't like that. And there's actually a reason for that. And there's actually a reason why they did it, too. But I will talk about that later when I'm talking about my... When I'm giving my thoughts, so... Ben manages to defeat the mummy by merging with a machine that produces liquid nitrogen, so he freezes it. The Tessons then bury it underground so that nothing will... So that no one will be able to find it. Though, security guard is afraid to know because he hadn't been exposed long enough to make the transformation permanent. And the ten and Ben and Gwen pretty much begged Max to not not go back to the farm. They can't stand working there. And Max pretty much agrees to them, realizing they learn because apparently he he apparently went to a farm when he was a kid, and he and just his experience reminded him how much he hated it. So they just go without saying a word to Joan or Todd, which kind of feels douchey, like really douchey. So okay, parts I like well. For starters, I love the mummy. I love the stuff with the mummy. I like that because I mentioned before how this is part of the story arc in the ser in this season, and this is part of, and this is really and it is that's exactly what's going on here. Like the flash of lightning, and it has the same motif as the werewolf. It's got more. Per it's got a purple motif, and like the werewolf, it's a classic movie monster. And like and again, like the werewolf, I love the design of this thing. Like, the werewolf was more feral and vicious and threatening. This one is the more subtle kind of thing. This one is more subtle kind of terrifying. Like, it's the way it moves. It just kind of, it just kind of shifts around. It's never sta- It's never stable. It never moves fluidly or, well, maybe sometimes it does. But the way, but, the way, but when it enters a scene, it's just always there. It makes, a, it's just making a noise. And the fact, it can, and the fact that it's just bandages that you can tear it apart and it's still going to come back together and still attack you, it actually is pretty creepy. It actually it is kind of terrifying in that regard. It is kind of creepy, not terrifying, but definitely is creepy and eerie. And I love the design with the corrodium. I love the stuff with the corrodium because the things they mutate into actually are pretty disturbing. It actually is pretty... It, so it actually does work. And again, I like seeing that we get... And I like that it does add more to the story, that there is kind of a continuing trend. First, you got a werewolf in Purple Lightning, then the mummy in Purple Lightning. Like, there's something going on, you don't know what. And, again, like with the werewolf, you don't know why the mummy wanted the corrodium. It's never explained in the episode, much like with the mummy, how, like, I mean with the werewolf. 
how it's never explained why it wanted all the satellite equipment, which is explained, and I might have spoiled it there. I'm sorry, I don't really watch my old... I don't... I, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I said, but... It's never, it's not, it's not as explain it's not explained why the mummy was after the corrodium why it came to earth looking for this specific stuff but it but of course it is explained later as part of the it is going to be explained in a, I, pretty much a few it's going to be explained in like a few epi in a few episodes cuz we cuz this is almost at the end of the season I think it's just a couple episodes away before we get to the big reveal so either way I love the stuff with the mummy I love the battle with that I think it actually is nice, and I like the battle scene, and I kind of like the, I like seeing that Ben fight it, and it really is re interesting, and I like the fact that Ben gets a new alien out of it, except, we don't see the alien, which is something I don't like, and the reason for this was at the time this episode was airing, Cartoon Network was doing a thing where, they had fan where they took, where for the late for the next episode of Ben Ten they did an online poll wherein fans of Ben 10 could vote between two of Ben's aliens and whichever alien won the poll would be the alien that Ben used at the end of the episode to pretty much solve everything. And I didn't, well, I, personally, I didn't, I never, I didn't do it. So I wasn't, so I didn't have any input on this, but that is exactly how this happened. Ben, that's, that's exactly what happened in this episode. Ben upgrade won the poll. So upgrade was the one that battled the mummy. I, but here's my little issue. It's the fact that they show that Ben got a new alien. The Omnitrix glowed yellow. You saw the symbol. But for some reason, it screws up. Which is kind of irritating. Like, you're teased with a, a new alien. You're like, oh yeah, you gotta see a new alien. You're gonna see the fight. And then, upgrade. Just upgrade. Which is annoying. It's an annoying... It makes the climax kind of drop, fall flat in that regard. But... That's a nitpick. It's, it, yeah, I think it's a nitpick. It's a pretty much my. It's pretty much my own nitpick because, you kind of, you can't. I think if you're teased with a new alien, you kind of want to see it, but you don't see it in this episode, which is mostly why I'm not going to discuss it because you do see it in a later episode, but I sense. You, but I think that's when I. That's when I'm going to talk about it because I'm not going to talk about this alien. Okay, because we do see it and it's the alien. Yeah, yeah. We do see the alien in a couple episodes, so I'll talk about it then, but for now, it's just unseen, unheard, so... Anyway, what else should I talk about? Um, okay, yeah, I think maybe another thing is... I think here's something... Here's kind of my own little... I think maybe I should... I think I think I really talked about all the pluses of it. I like... I think everything with the mummy is very nice and very very interesting. It's that's the. I think that's the real meat of the episode. I think the big problems with it lie in the farm aspect and i'm not and here's the thing i'm not knocking anyone that worked on a farm if you worked on a farm or you however you have worked on if you work on a farm or you have worked on a farm i don't i don't i don't hold anything against you i don't hold that's not my big problem with it i've never worked on a farm i am a lazy bastard i'm fat i sit around watching i sit on my ass watching tv while cleaning houses when i'm not cleaning houses i am pretty much this massive nerd that lives in the 20th century that searches on my, that goes on my phone yada, yada yada i'm the ultimate of lazy i'm the ultimate of lazy but here's the thing i would not but here's the thing that's not my, what i have with the problem with this because i have done hard work before and it is hard work it bu builds up a sweat i've done i have done all this heavy lifting i've helped move I've helped move desks or or helped I help I help move desks I move furniture I've even helped make a I've even helped pave a driveway, and it is hard work. I don't, and I don't and I'm not saying this compares to working on a farm because this because I'm still getting to my main point here. My big problem is just kind of the implementation of the lesson because Ben and Gwen are being lazy. They're not doing anything, and uh, it's obvious that them being forced to work on a farm is a form of punishment to help them learn. But they don't. It does, I don't think they learn. I mean, they, in the end of the episode, they say they'll do all their chores. Just, but they say they do all their chores like normal. But it's not because they. But it's not. But it's mostly because they don't like doing all this hard work, which the hard work, quote unquote, was only on the first day. And even then, Ben kind of breezes through it. In fact, he actually, in fact, how he gets through all the chores in the episode is by doing the very thing he was told not to do. Go alien, which makes all the jobs easy. In fact, I don't know why he's complaining. 
Seriously, because it because after the moving the feed, he is tired. He's knocked out. He's all that stuff, knocked out. But in the next episode, but uh, but the next day, he Gwen does nothing while Ben does everything else. He goes forearms to milk cows. He goes wild vine to feed these pigs. He goes wild mutt to pull a to pull a trowel harvesting a field. He goes accelerate to collect all these eggs without even trying. He goes diamond head to put in a fence. It's kind of ins it's it's just kind of me. It, when I can again, I don't think it's mean. Spirited, but it is kind of douchey in some regard because it kind of, because it because again I don't know I don't know I, I again I don't claim to speak for farm hands I, or people who work on a farm I never worked on a farm so if so I don't know so I can't really say I represent a, someone that, someone like that because I don't I'm not a representative of the of every hard-working American who's who has ever worked on a farm I'm the lazy city guy that reads comic books and work always on my phone and plays video games I'm not that kind of person it's just that in some regard in the way the tennis even the ultimate reaction just kind of feels like a big F you to them because Ben and Gwen are just because Ben and Gwen just go to Big Mac saying don't let us go back there we'll do all our chores and we'll just we don't want to go back there which kind of feels insulting in that regard like what in fact and they just go they don't say goodbye to Joan and Todd they just go which kind of it's a kind of a, that is a giant f you like how do you think Joan and Todd felt the next day when they go to wake the tennis and the chores and like hey where did they go and the, the RV's gone that's kind of mean like why really. It's like that, I don't understand that. It's just kind of douchey when you think about it. So, so again, the farm stuff not that entertaining because I don't think Ben and Gwen really learned their lesson the proper way. Because I think maybe they could. I think it really would have been nice to see to see them kind of learn to to try. Well, okay, maybe not appreciate the hard work, but maybe realize how easy they had it up to that point instead of. So okay, so I think I would have liked that to make them learn from their hard work. Again, I know Ben does this the, things the easy way, and I, it makes sense that he does this. It just kind of feels a little insulting. I'm not saying again. I, I'm again. If I'm wrong, and this doesn't feel, and you don't, and you don't see this as insulting, and if you actually have worked on a farm and you don't see it as insulting, please let me know because I again I don't claim to be. I know I know I'm not a representative, lazy American. I don't I don't do all that. I'm not a big giant. I'm not someone like this. I don't. I'm trying. I'm just trying to pretty much play in the groundwork that while I personally think like this, I am not a representative. So I am just the ignorant outsider here. So again, I just kind of feel that the final conclusion and even the implementation of lesson should have been worked on and maybe that, and maybe should have shown more appreciation for it. So, so again, again, I don't, again, don't have Ben. I'm, I'm not saying Ben Gwen have to like be fully positive. Like, man, I can't wait to work on another farm. But at least have them. But at least have it be that maybe they could have learned the lesson a little better. So, yeah, going done going on my tangent and oh again, I don't hate this episode. I actually, unlike the last episode, I actually did enjoy myself. And there were some, and there were still some funny parts when Ben with ben, with them on the farm, especially when Ben decides to go alien because when he goes for him to milk the cows, it's just a mess. But. I liked I liked the villain like the with the werewolf that it's cre it has its own creepy atmosphere and there's enough and there's there's enough th and there's enough left of mystery so that you're wondering so that even by the end of the episode you're wondering then why does this happen why is that and it leaves enough open for the fun for everything for the finale so it actually is nice uh, but again I think that's really it I think the biggest strength of this was the mummy because in that case was the mummy and like the corrodium what it did what the fights with the thing with just seeing it just seeing it do all this stuff it is cool i like that so while i think that i like the episode it's not a great episode i think it's okay i think it could have been better but i think it actually for what it is it is pretty good so yeah i don't can't think of anything else to say that's pretty much it so yeah thank you for watching i'm samuel johnson and Tune in next week where we take where we take one uh, one episode reprieve from the big from the main story as we see as we get, take part in one of America in one of America's favorite pastimes. So, again, thank you for watching. I'm Samuel Johnson, and I will see you next week. Take care.